Mall of America has been a part of our community for 25 years now. Before it opened to the public in 1992, JDRF put on its first One Walk there to raise money for diabetes research. There has been a One Walk at the mall every year since then. And joining us now is Les Hazelton, who was diagnosed with late adult onset type 1 diabetes. Les, thanks so much for coming in. Oh, thanks for having me. So you were diagnosed with type 1 at 43 years old. Correct. Pretty unusual. Unusual. And that was uh, 18 years ago, but you have been participating in this, uh, I want to talk about a clinical trial of an artificial pancreas system. Tell us about that and how it's working out for you. There uh, is an amazing partnership between JDRF and their research dollars that help people like Medtronic and uh, Park Nicollet Health and the International Diabetes Center that uh, provide all these clinical trials to help people like me. And uh, Medtronic has a hybrid closed loop insulin pump that gives you uh, ongoing insulin based upon what your blood sugars are reading. And you're wearing it right now. I am. It's just connected right here mm -hmm. yep. on artificial pancreas and it's really done wonders for you. It has. Uh, my uh, blood glucose over time has dropped over a full point and uh, my sugars are as good as they were if not better than when I was diagnosed. So what was that moment like for you when you were first diagnosed? Because I think a lot of people when they think of diabetes or diabetics they think of people who might not be healthy but you were an active healthy adult. Uh, I was at the time. Uh, I was working out six days a week. I'm an avid, I was an avid cyclist and losing weight and thinking, oh, I'm going to beat this midlife spread and didn't really recognize the symptoms of what uh, type 1 diabetes is. Well, and you're going to be participating in the JDRF walk this weekend. I'm going to be there as well. My best friend's daughter has juvenile diabetes. We always walk in support of her. You're That's trying, great. Yeah, you're trying to raise $2 million. That's $2 million. I have a team from Niemer Fieger that I've assembled last year and we're doing it again this year and it's uh, an amazing event to walk for one hour and they're expecting 22,000 people wow. to come and rally to raise that two million. Uh, they were a little bit short of it last year and this year I know they're going to blow the roof off. And it's a really fun family oriented event, right? Yes, it is. And there'll be some uh, stores and restaurants that'll be open during the walk and especially after the walk. But Mall of America is a great venue for these last 25 years to have them uh, open their doors and support JDRF. Well, the 25th anniversary of the JDRF One Walk is Saturday morning at 830 at Mall of America. We do have information about registering at WCCO.com slash links. Maybe I'll see you there. There's 22,000 of us, <laughs> but you never know. I hope to see you there and thank everybody else for coming. Les, thank you. Have a great day. You too. Matt, before